Julian Set here from macOS 10 screencastcom In this review, I'd like to show you BusyCal. BusyCal is often mentioned on the blogosphere, podcasts, and generally the web as being iCal Pro. Therefore, I've decided to give BusyCal a shot. You can find it at busymac.com and it is a very, very well done calendar application, which is, if <laughs> indeed, uh, iCal Pro. It has all the features iCal has, but has lots, lots more features under the, under the hood. And what you're about to see in this screencast is all sorts of... Well, first we will have a look at the iCal features, then we will see what BusyCal can do better than the original iCal application does. So first of all, you see here that I've started iCal and this is a blank or pure plain iCal. So first of all, we will create a calendar and just for the sake, we will create another calendar which says girlfriend because I need a separate calendar for my girlfriend and I will create a couple of more calendars just for having uh, some to play with. So you can customize these calendars very easily by clicking with your right mouse button here and then an info screen comes up where you can, for instance, set a different color. Now what you can do with the, uh, with the calendar is obviously very clear you can create new events by clicking in the iCal view and then dragging your mouse and then entering a name for this specific event. You can drag it around or let's say I want to create a new so-called to-do item for the macOS 10 screencasts team. Let's say I want to organize the next team meeting or the group meeting and I can create due dates for to-dos uh, if I want to, as uh, you see a separate window comes up uh, where I can set a due date and for instance I set this due date for being on uh, 30th of April. I want to have a message with sound coming up the day before or the same day at let's say 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, no, a.m. sorry. Now when we switch to BusyCal for our first time, you will see one very big advantage of BusyCal at the very first moment. Uh, you see now in the dock I have iCal still open and while iCal is open I run BusyCal. And this is BusyCal, the main interface of BusyCal. BusyCal sorry. You see the main difference is it shows 24 hours instead of just uh, 10 or 8 hours like iCal does. But you see already that we have a couple of calendars on the left hand side and we have our event which we created in iCal and on the right hand side of course is our to-do. Here are the calendars, they have the same color as in iCal, we, they have the same name as the calendars have in iCal and let's say I want to create a new event now for this health calendar, just do it like in iCal, just drag your mouse to create a new calendar, let me just move this one to 8 p.m. From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I want to go to the gym. And now when I switch back to iCal, you can see this event has already shown up in iCal. When I move this uh, event around and switch back to BusyCal, you see this event has moved in BusyCal as well. So you can use both databases, for instance, at the same time. Now what can BusyCal do better than iCal? To show you this I will have a look at the preferences because here are all the strengths of BusyCal are basically displayed. You can set the start of the week, uh, for instance you can set to have in the week view two weeks or one week. This is not a feature available in iCal. Again, you can set, well, like in iCal, the hours shown and then a scroll bar appears on the right hand side if you set it to a lower value than 24 hours. Now, the banner here is, let me just show you quickly, this upper uh, part of BusyCal is where banners are being displayed. So let us now create a so-called banner. To do this, just double click on the top of the field here and then I'm entering a 
name for our new uh, banner and let me just drag this around because my girlfriend is here for three days. These events are called uh, all day events like in iCal and you can toggle between being an all day event or just a regular event by clicking the according uh, button and when I let me just move this a bit out of the way when I set a large uh, banner size or a small banner size you can see it changing accordingly in the BDC Cal uh, window. Now here at the bottom of this uh, general preferences tab you see that you can show the info panel or display times in month view if you want to. Let me just show you quickly the month view. Uh, you see here all uh, we have no events here at the uh, at the top but at the bottom we have events and when I'm toggling this option here you see the times are being displayed. So the next feature I want to show you is how alarms are working in BusyCal because I, BusyCal is quite different here from iCal like in this part of the preference window you can set different alarms for events and for all day events and to do's. So for instance if in my case, I always want to have a uh, busy cal alarm one hour before an event goes off. So, and all the events, I want to be alarmed at, let's say, not 20, 10 a.m. in the morning. And not one day before, but 40 days before. So when something really important, like my girlfriend is arriving in the UK, I'm alarmed beforehand. You can set snooze times, a default snooze time, which is really awesome. And just for the screencast, I will uh, set this to be one minute. We can choose to set show alarms in menu bar. Then a sh small alarm bell appears in the menu bar, which lists all events from the current day. And let me just show you quickly how this uh, alarm thing works. Let me move uh, make the view a bit more appealing for screencasts so let's say i want to have an alarm for this specific event i go to uh, make the info view slightly bigger and we have now f uh, three minutes to three o'clock so i move this uh, event to 315 and i want to be alarmed five minutes before this event happens so Let's wait now for a couple of minutes until the alarm bell goes off. So now you see a new window appear appearing. This is I like this window a lot better than the iCal one because it lists at the top all uh, events which have an alarm currently. And in the bottom I can set a different minute, hour or even day snooze time and just for the screencast I will snooze this alarm or this event for one more minute. Yeah, you see in the dock I've closed BusyCal so alarms are even going off when the main application isn't running and if we want to get rid of the menu bar icon we can just go to the preferences again and then select here don't show alarms in the menu bar anymore. Now the next tab here Bonjour shows, well, lets you publish calendars to the local network by Bonjour or and to other physical users. You can display the weather. I haven't thought that this is so useful, but it is. In fact, um, you can back up the iCal database, which is awesome in my opinion, to be up backup by 10, 10 times each day or every hour or 100 times each hour. And in the advanced tab, we can turn on, oh, this is our physical alarm we had previously. And now we'll just, I, I could e either uh, set another snooze time or just dismiss this event. So to turn on time zone support, uh, act 